let's do some more subtraction problems. So let's say I had, I don't know, well actually I do know because I'm looking at the problem in the Singapore math book. It says 6,000, let me do it in a new color, cancel. So 6,000 and 4 minus 2,678. And I'm going to do it with the SAL expansion, but it's really the same thing as uh, when we, you know, do the Singapore Math place value buckets with the with the uh, with the little circles with, that tell us how much of each place we have. Because if we expand this out, six thousand and four that equals six thousand plus zero hundreds plus zero tens plus four two thousand. Actually, let me edit undo edit undo. That's going to take forever. Well, anyway, plus four. I wanted to add, add some extra space here because I realized in the last problem that's what the problem was. And I'm going to subtract from it 2,000 plus 600 plus 70 plus 8. So let's do the problem. 2 is less than 6. That's cool. 6 is not less than 0, so we have to do something there. 7 is not less than 0. 8 is not less than 4. So we're going to have to do some regrouping. So let's take a thousand from here, from the thousands place. So all we're left is with five thousand, and let's put that thousand in the hundreds place. So we'll have a thousand here. And how does that look here? Well, we'll have five thousand left, and now we're going to have ten hundreds. Ten hundreds is the same thing as a thousand. Well, so now these two, I guess we could say columns, look all right, but the seventy is still greater than the zero. So what can we do? Well, let's take 100 from this 1,000 and turn it into 10 hundreds, or turn it into 100. So let's take 100 from here. So we'll have 900 left. And then put that 100 here. So that looks good. But then we have an 8 as being less than a 4. I'm sorry, an 8, an eight being greater than a 4. I just had some dark chocolate, and I, I apologize if, if you hear some pauses in my voice. Anyway. So how do we fix that? Well, the same way we've done all of everything else. Let's take 10 from this place and put it into the ones place. So if we take 10 from 100, we get 90. And we're going to put the 10 here, so that becomes 14. Oh, and I forgot to do it on this side, right? So we took 1,000 from the 6,000. We have 5,000 left. We had 10 hundreds, or 1,000. Then, well, we needed, we took 100 from there. So let's take 100. Out of 10 hundred, we have 900 left. And then we put, we make. And then 100 becomes 10 tens. But then we need to borrow one of those, not borrow, take one of those 10 tens and, and put it into the ones place. So we have 4 plus 10 is 14. So these two things are equivalent, and now we are ready to subtract. That's the hard part. This is the fun part now. 14 minus 8 is 6. 90 minus 70 is 20. 900 minus 600 is 300. And 5,000 minus 2,000 is 3,000. Or if we want to do it here, 14 minus 8 is 6. 9 minus 7 is 2, which is really the 20 here. 9 minus 6 is 3. This 3 is actually this 300. And then 5 minus 2 is 3, which is really this 3,000, right? Because it's in the thousands place. Let's do some more. And maybe I won't expand it out, but I'll, I'll talk it through. Okay, I have 4,000. Minus three hundred and ninety-two. So we immediately see that these zeros are not going to help us because they are less than the number below it. So what can we do? Let's take a thousand from the four thousand. We have so that means we have three thousand left. I'll switch colors. We took a thousand, but if you put a thousand in the hundreds place, it becomes ten hundreds. Right. So these two columns look all right. But now we need some tens so we can subtract here. So let me take one of the hundred. We have ten hundreds, right? Let me take one of them. So we have nine hundreds left and make this. And then if we, one hundred is ten tens. So that looks OK. But let's take one of, but then we need to borrow for the ones place. So let's take one of those ten tens. So it's a nine. We have nine tens left. And then we add that ten here. And now we are ready to subtract. 10 minus 2 is 8. 9 minus 9, or 90 minus 90, is 0. 900 minus 300 is 600. 
And 3,000 minus nothing is 3,000. Let's do another one. 3,020 minus 2,430. Well, this column works out. 0 minus 0, that we can do that. But this 3 is greater than this 2. This 4 is greater than 0, so we have to do something similar. So let's take one of the thousands. So we're going to have 2 left and make 10 hundreds out of it. But then we need to make these, the, the 10 space bigger. So let's take one of our hundreds. So we only have 9 left. And, at, and turn that into 10 tens. So this 2 becomes 2 tens become 12 tens. And we're all set. Now we can subtract. 0 minus 0 is 0. 12 minus 3 is 9. 9 minus 4 is 5. And 2 minus 2 is 0, so we don't have to write it. So our answer is 590. Let's keep going. I'm just going to keep going until I use up 15 minutes. And now I'm actually going to write it out with the Sal expansion style, just because I, I figure it doesn't hurt to do so. Because I really want you to understand what you're doing. Because if you know what you're doing, you'll never get confused. You'll never say, oh my god, what was the next step? I forgot what the next step was. Because they won't just be steps to you. They will be actual sense-making operations. 5,000 minus 2,074. And let me write the expansion. That equals 5,000 plus 0 hundreds plus 0 tens plus 0 ones. And the bottom number is 2,000 plus 0 hundreds plus 70 plus 4. OK, so what's the situation here? Well, this column is fine. Oh, my phone's ringing. That's my mom. I'll talk to her later. This column is fine. 2 is less than 5. 0 is at least equal to 0, so we could subtract there. But these, these two columns are giving a problem, right? And what's interesting here, you might say, OK, I don't have enough tens here, so let me take something from the hundreds. But you're like, wait, I don't have anything in the hundreds place, so what am I going to do? So this is what you're going to do. You have nothing in the hundreds place, but you do have a lot of thousands. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow from the thousands place. So let's do that. So if we, we're not borrow, we're going to take from the thousands place. So we're going to take 1,000. So we're going to have 4,000 left. We're going to take 1,000, have 4,000 left. So we have 1,000 to play with, right? And what we can do is, well, just for simplicity, let's take all of that 1,000 and write it in the tens place. Oh, sorry, in the hundreds place. So if I we, we took a thousand from the thousands place and let's put it into the hundreds place. So in the hundreds place it would be represented as ten hundred. Right? So we took a thousand, so we can write that thousand right here. That's ten hundred. That's why it's a ten here, and that's why it's written as a thousand here. But we this isn't where we need it. We need it over here, these areas. So let's take out of this thousand, let's take a hundred put in the tens place. So let's take 100. So this becomes 900. And stick it here, 100. And the way we'd represent it here, we have 10 hundreds. We're taking one of the hundreds. We have 9 hundreds left. And we're putting that 100 here, so it's 10 tens. And I really want you to understand that this 9 is the same thing as 900. Why? Because it's in the hundreds place. This 4 is the same thing as 4,000. This is a 4,000 because it's in the thousands place. This 10 is the same thing as in the as 100 because it's in the tens place. It's 10 tens. And we're almost done. Now why don't we take one of these tens, so we have 9 left, and put that 10 in the ones place. And we, if we take one of the tens, the 100 becomes a 90. We put it into the tens place. And now we are ready to subtract. Now we are ready to subtract. Let's see. It becomes. 10 minus 4 is 6. 90 minus 70 is 20. 900 minus nothing is 900. And then 4,000 minus 2,000 is 2,000. And we can do it here. 10 minus 4 is 6. 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus 0 is 9. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2,926. 2,926. Same number. And frankly, this is one of the 
harder problems you encounter. And you know, when I, if you just learn, oh boy, you know, I did take away, borrow all that, you get confused because you try to borrow from your zero, and you're like, what do I do? But when you think about it in terms of, no, I'm just going to regroup. I'm just going to take a thousand from here and put it into the hundreds place. We took a thousand from here and we wrote the thousand in the hundreds place. And then we took a hundred from here and put it in the tens place. And then we took ten from here. And we put it in the tens place. That's all we did. We just rearranged where the numbers are, what what where uh, what place value each of our each of our uh, yeah numbers are. Let's do another one. Let's do. Let's do. Oh, I don't know. Let me pick a good one. Let's do. Seven thousand. Well, let me do the problem that they give us. Five thousand two hundred minus nine hundred and forty-eight. So that equals five thousand plus two hundred plus zero tens plus zero ones, and then the bottom number is nine hundred plus forty plus eight. So once again, where are we going to need to borrow? Well, on pretty much in the hundreds, tens, and ones place, because all of these numbers are bigger than all of these numbers. So let's take a thousand from the five thousand. We have four thousand left, and put it into the hundreds place. So we took a thousand, so we have to put it someplace. So let's add it here. So a thousand plus two hundred is equal to twelve hundred. And using our place notation over here, the five thousand becomes a four thousand. And that the 200 becomes a 1200. And now let's borrow 100 from the 1200. So we have 1100. We have to put it someplace. We'll put it here. So this becomes 100. Or you could say we borrowed 100 from the 1200. So we had 1100 left. And then we're putting the 100 in the tens place. So it's 1000. That 100 is the same thing as 10. Sorry, 10 tens right there. And then finally. Let's borrow 10 from this 100, so it becomes 90, and put the 10 there. So that becomes 10. Similarly, let's take 10 from here, so it's 9 tens, and put the 10 here. Now we are ready to subtract. 10 minus 8 is 2. 90 minus 40 is 50. 1100 minus 900, that's 200. And then you have 4,000. Here, 10 minus 8 is 2. 9 minus 4 is 5. 11 minus 9 is 2. 4 minus nothing is 4. 4,252. 4,252. Hopefully you have a sense of what's going on now. And, and frankly, these are um, if you find these pretty straightforward, you are ready to tackle most any uh, subtraction problem, especially with four digits. See you in the next video.